Hello and welcome to Let's Talk Topper, where we discuss important topics for incoming students. Today I am super lucky to be joined by some of my favorite students here on campus, our WKU top guides, Annalicia Carlson and Will Meyer. Thank you guys so both for being here. Of I'm so excited. <laughs> Yay! Okay, so the reason why I have invited these guests to be here today is to talk a little bit about the Topper Orientation Program, or what is commonly referred to as TOP. So you're an incoming student, you've applied, you've been accepted, and you're wondering what's next. Attending TOP is going to be the, our way of knowing that you are planning to come to WKU. So the first question that I have, Annalicia, is what is TOP? Okay, so TOP is your topper orientation program and it is going to be required for all incoming students as well as some transfer students. And it's gonna be the day where you get your class schedule, you're gonna meet with an advisor, you're gonna get your WKU ID and um, maybe you'll register for a meal plan, you'll um, meet other students that are gonna be graduating with you, other students in your major, things like that. So um, that hilltopper feeling is really gonna start to set in that day for you. Yay. Okay, so, and you say that it's mandatory for all incoming students. Um, when you say some transfer students, what a, what it makes it different for those so transfer students? Those transfer students, it'll just depend. So if you are coming in with an associate's degree, mm -hmm. then you will not need to complete top. But if you are under that um, that mm -hmm. cap, then you will need to complete the orientation. That way, we can just kind of know that you're not going to be retaking any classes. That um, we're, I mean, we still want to make sure that you feel completely included in all of that process. Okay, and that makes that makes a lot of sense. That's good to make them feel like they're included and they're not retaking classes because right, that would not right. be fun. Mm -hmm. um, now, do all incoming students, just for the main campus, do regional campuses have to come to this top if they're planning to be full-time at Glasgow or? I actually do not know that. Will, do you have insight on that? So each of the different campuses have their own orientation process. So if you're coming to main campus Bowling Green, mm -hmm. you will do our orientation process. Glasgow has their own. Fort Knox, E-Towns, places like that. Okay, awesome. Now, do they have to do this alone? Can they bring a friend? Can they bring mom or dad? Uh, they can bring uh, mom, dad, sister, brother, and uncle if they would like. Um, there is a $75 fee with that. In that, $75 fee will include one guest. But if they want to bring the whole clan, they are more than welcome to. Each additional guest is going to be um, $25. And that okay. will include their meal ticket for the day and um, some informational sessions and all of that. That's great. And how long does TOP usually last? Is it an overnight thing? Do students have to plan to stay overnight, Will? No, 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 no. So TOPs, there's two time sessions, a 7.30 and a 9.45. The 7.30 usually lets out around 2 or 3, and the 9.45 around 3 or 4. So it just depends on which session you sign up for and how early you get into your advising. Now, I hope that we will be food feeding them when they're there. <laughs> is there food involved? Yes, there is. Um, we do include a meal ticket with that price. They will be eating in Fresh Food Company. It is our buffet style eating option um, on the first floor of Downing Student Union. And Fresh is actually one of my favorite places to eat as a junior here at WKU because um, we really do live up to the name Fresh Food Company. We actually get a lot of our food from Fresh from local farming markets, local farming communities and there is even a section in fresh called simple selections and within simple selections uh, we have actually accommodated a lot of our students with a lot of those um, top seven food allergens so they are still completely welcome and they um, have a safe place to eat here on campus so um, and they have like a bread station, pizza station, my favorite, a cereal station. I love to eat cereal at all times of the day. <laughs> so, um, I mean, it just has the whole nine yards in there. It's awesome. That's great. Uh, and Annalisa, earlier you mentioned that during the day they would be getting registered for their classes with mm -hmm. some advisors. Now, is that advisor going to be the advisor that they're paired with for all four years, or is it sort of just sort of that day it's going to be whoever they meet with, but they may be assigned an advisor later on? Correct. So um, they will act, that advisor that they meet with that specific day will not be the one that they're paired with for their four years. Um, that's just going to be the advisor that's going to walk them through. However, if they have problems afterwards they're more than welcome to keep on using that specific person as a resource because really everyone here at WKU is going to be a resource for them. 
Uh, well, and that actually brings up a really good question with registration too. I know a lot of times parents come and they sort of want to help out with that and registration process. Mm -hmm. Do we have any sort of allowing parents to be involved in that process? Should parents expect not to be a part of that process? So unfortunately parents are not allowed to be part of that process due to a law that's called FERPA. Um, that's with the student and advisor only. So it's basically on to the student now to take responsibility for their classes. So what will the parents be doing during TOP while students are registering for classes and doing things like that? So for the parents, we have a bunch of different sessions. They can go to financial aid, mm -hmm. college basics, different sessions like that, info fair, just a bunch of information that they can take mm -hmm. in to help them support their student. A lot of times students call us and they are worried about maybe the major that they put on their application mm -hmm. is not the major that they are intending to or maybe they decided they don't know what they want to be, which is totally right. fine because yes. welcome to adulthood. <laughs> yeah. uh, is it okay for them to change their major before? Can they change their major that day? Yes, so take it from me, it is more than okay to change your major. Uh, they are welcome to change their major that day and even welcome after that day to change their major. Um, there's going to be a little table where they can go and even talk to someone about changing their major. They're gonna fill out a piece of paper and then we're gonna make sure that the advisor that they meet with know that prior to their advising appointment. That way they're taking classes that is gonna benefit them in their future. So when is TOP? Is it one day? Is it multiple days? When can students expect to attend this event? We have multiple days for TOP. Um, they start in April and they go all the way up until the start of school, um, usually on Thursday, Friday, or Saturday throughout the summer is when most of our TOP days are. And do, are they able to reschedule? Let's say they schedule one TOP day and realize they have to come another time earlier? Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's completely easy and free to reschedule. Just let our office know and we'll take care of it. And I think you mentioned earlier before, Annalicia, about a fee with TOP. So it is there is a fee that comes with it, includes a guest. How much was that fee again? Um, it is a $75 fee, and that will include one guest. But then again, if you want to invite your whole clan, that's totally fine. We welcome anyone to the Hill. And um, each guest will be an additional $25. However, we do have vouchers for that. So um, there are some circumstances where you will um, apply to have a voucher, and then that will be a approved and then that will reduce that fee to ten dollars awesome and another question that I know we always get in our office too is a lot of students get registered for top and then they sort of wonder what's next you know do they just wait for that top day or is there anything that they should be doing in between that time so prior to attending your top date you should take the math placement exam you should probably look up meal plans and see which one you think is gonna work out for you financial aid is a big thing that you should like look into before the top date. Um, but yeah, there's there's a lot of different things that should be looked into before we get to the hill and like it, we're ready to go. So. so you mentioned the math placement exam. That's a really common question as well that students have. They hear that they have to take a math placement exam. Can you talk a little bit about what is the math placement exam and who's required to take that? So all new incoming students are required to take the math placement exam. And so that is just putting a score on file for our math department so they know which math class is best suited for them to be placed in. Okay. Awesome. Well, I feel like I know a lot more <laughs> about it. <laughs> Thank you guys so much of for course. being here and helping out answering all of these questions. And for those of you watching, if you have a question that did not get answered, you can contact our Topper Orientation Office at 270-745-4242 or email top at wku.edu to get in touch with a top guide like these great students. And as always, the WKU Office of Admissions is also here as a resource to help you prepare for your transition into higher education at WKU. So to talk with someone in our office, call 270-745-2551 or email admission at wku.edu. Thanks for watching and stay tuned for more Let's Talk Topper discussions.